Your mind is the cause of liberation or bondage, Lord Krishna. They put so much emphasis on it. Why? Can't we just be as we are? Well, the results of your life are before you. Sometimes when you're on a boat out in the ocean, if you knew how many fathoms deep you were sitting on water of three miles of water beneath your feet, you think, my goodness, all of that's underneath me. Sharks, jellyfish, all kinds of things. Similarly, the depth of our mind, the capability, very few of us measure or understand it. And so these three great sayings are, first of all, um, an encouragement. Listen, you have the mind. You can achieve. But it's also a warning. Because this is a tremendous power. And if you misuse it, don't understand it, then you can get yourself into deep trouble. You see, our past, our present, and our future are linked by our thoughts. How we have thought in the past is determined how we are today. And how we are thinking today determines our tomorrow.